Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. In the last few uh, lectures, we've already talked about uh, the replication process in eukaryotes. And actually, I'm making this third part of the eukaryotic replication video almost a year later because I've uh, got so many requests to make a video on the termination of uh, the DNA replication. Because you know, eukaryotic DNA replication creates a problem at the end. Uh, which we call it the termination problem of eukaryotic replication and the reason for that is in eukaryotic replication it's like uh, it's a linear dna most of the time so if you have linear dna the replication of the linear dna in the terminal part which is known as the telomere is really really difficult so in this video lecture we are going to know how the termination of dna replication occur in case of eukaryotic linear dna and to understand that we need to know three separate things we need to know about this replication termination but before knowing replication termination we need to know the detailed structure of telomere and also uh, the responsible enzyme which helps the process to proceed telomerase so we'll talk about all these three things in this same video so this video will be helpful also to understand the mechanism of telomerase and how telomerase protects the telomere from being clipped. So let's talk about it. Now to understand the problem associated with the linear DNA at the end of DNA replication, you need to understand how the DNA replication take place. So let me draw it in a very schematic drawing. So in this very linear drawing, what we know is that there are two separate strands, uh, both the strands serving as a template DNA for the replication of a new DNA strands, new daughter DNA strand. So in, for both of them, uh, we have a specific direction and the marking for that. For example, this one is five prime, uh, three prime. Let's say this is this is five prime, three prime, and this is three prime, five prime. So if these are the two separate template DNA strands or parental DNA strands, what we all know is that for the start of the DNA replication, DNA polymerase cannot initiate it on its own. They need a primer, which is a RNA. Uh, section or RNA fragment. So the RNA fragment is produced from 5 prime, uh, so generally from 5 prime end, which provides a free 3 prime hydroxyl. This free 3 prime hydroxyl is a must requirement for the DNA polymerase to elongate the strand to polymerize nucleotides there, right? So between these two parental DNA, in one of the parental DNA, they this DNA polymerase get a free 3 prime hydroxyl so they can easily extend it till the end and that strand as it can extend for a long stretch is known as the leading strand of the DNA okay on the other hand the other parental strand cannot provide that same kind of situation because of the complementary nature of the DNA strands. So in this other strand, the mechanism of DNA replication occurs in a back stretch way. That means you need to have a primer here. Then only you will get free 3 prime hydroxyl in the opposite end. So this process cannot continue into opposite direction. So what you studied earlier is that we know that DNA start forming a loop so that they can continue the DNA replication in both the strands simultaneously. That's the idea. So what we see here is there will be primers in the middle. So let's, let's take it there. So there will be primers in the middle and the stretch of new DNA will be synthesized from those primers. So this is the end product of the DNA replication. If you want to know how exactly the coiling and the looping of the DNA take place and how looping is helping the DNA to be replicated, I want you to watch my other videos just before this video. That is the DNA replication initiation and DNA replication elongation in eukaryotes. I'll try to provide you the links in the description as well as in the cards. Now, if you look at here, in this case, what we can study is very important. Between these two strands, there is absolutely no problem with this strand because it's a continuous synthesis of the new DNA known as the leading strand of the DNA. On the other hand, the synthesis is not continuous. Like small fragments of DNA is produced. So these fragments are known as Okazaki fragments. And this particular strand is known as lagging strand of the DNA. 
because it's it's lagging in the rate of synthesis so now what is the exact problem at the end or termination of dna replication because you know the termination part of dna replication is very important remember at the very beginning to initiate the polymerization they need to add a stretch of ribonucleotide sequence as primer and we know in the dna we should never keep ribonucleotides so we need to cleave those ribonucleotide sequence out and fill that gap with deoxyribonucleotide that is the end work to be done for the eukaryotic trans uh, dna replication so in case of leading strand is perfectly fine you know why it's perfectly fine because the idea is if this is the primer at the 5 prime end of the primer and this is the 3 prime end so simply if we remove this there is a chance of synthesizing it from that end okay but in case of lagging strand if you look at lagging strand the idea says something like this uh, this is 5 prime this is 3 prime now the problem is in both the terminal in the both terminal side not only uh, in the lagging but also in the leading i'll show you how because in both the case if you see these are the 5 prime end so let's zoom in to this lagging strand to understand this very well so in this 5 prime end let's say the primers that are present in the middle if we remove them then what we get we ultimately got 3 prime here 3 prime here 3 prime here so what does that mean if we have 3 prime then dna polymerase can itself elongate it and we know in case of eukaryote dna polymerase alpha does the job of elongating this 3 prime end and filling the gap so polymerase alpha can easily fill this gap at the end and then ligase will seal the nick so that we'll get a complete stretch of the dna right so rest of all the RNA primers that are present somewhere in the middle can be removed easily. But the problem is in the terminal region. What kind of problem it is? In the terminal region, let's say we also delete this primer at the end. So if we delete this primer at the end, what we end up with is a 5 prime end. So this is no 3 prime, this is a 5 prime end. And we know DNA polymerase cannot stretch from 5 prime. It can only stretch from a 3 prime if they have 3 prime hydroxyl group. So this is creating a problem. Because to stretch that, who, can, who will provide 3 prime hydroxyl? If we need to provide a 3 prime hydroxyl here, then we can stretch it. But who will provide this 3 prime hydroxyl? And even to provide a 3 prime hydroxyl, we need to have a template, right? But there is no template left because this is the end. That is known as the end replication problem in eukaryotic DNA replication. Because at the end, there is no room for providing any template. And as there is no template, no further primer can be added. As there is no primer, no elongation can be made. So this is a big issue. And to solve this issue, we need to use an enzyme known as telomerase. And that's what eukaryotes use. Telomerase enzyme will provide that extra template segment. And with the help of that template, they can make the primer and as well as elongate their own DNA parental strand so that new strands can be synthesized pretty easily. How? If we look at here, to understand the process, you need to know the structure of both telomere and telomerase. Now, telomere is the end of eukaryotic DNA, linear DNA. And the end of telomere has a sequence, a lot of G-rich sequence. Like, it's not always conserved, but it's mostly containing more and more G-repeats. So, you see somewhat like T, G, 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 T, T, G sequence like that. This is a kind of end sequence of the telomerase. So, let me... Let me draw here as the end sequence T, G, 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 T, T, G. Okay. Now, as this is the telomere sequence, to bind with that sequence, telomerase serves the template. Telomerase is an enzyme. It carries two separate units. One is the protein unit. 
another one is the RNA element RNA element or RNA template the RNA template that is present in telomerase so you can somewhat draw something like like this it's kind of providing an RNA template and the RNA template telomerase provide carries exact complementary sequence to that of this telomere at the end so it's somewhat like let me write it somewhat like a c c c c a a c this is the sequence that is present in the telomerase so now what will happen here is simply at the end there is no room for any extension so let me show you how the extension will be done here simply at the end there is tg sequence and ac sequence will bind to it and rest of the section of the telomere will be placed something like this so now try to understand a and g will bind with the complementary nature but rest of the sequence that is c c c a a c that is also present in the telomerase serve as a template strand that will guide the dna the parental strand to be elongated because you know in the parental strand this is 3 prime so parental strands can be elongated right so in this case they can add here g g g t t g and the same process continues so again telomerase will slowly move and bind to this tg and again further stretch of the dna will be synthesized so let me draw that as well here so here say again they will bind to this region ac then c c c a a c then again ac will pair here and rest of the sequence it will form t t g so you see the parental dna strand was short now telomerase is helping to stretch and elongate the parental dna strands to the 3 prime end and it will elongate it so much now what you know the next round whenever the dna replication will take place this telomere is so much big because you know this is actual end of the telomere right so all the sequences that we need all the gene sequences should be present by this part so this is the actual genome rest of the part are junk they are not required for any kind of protein synthesis so this rest of the sequences which are added is helping the telomere to be prevented the shortening because every time the dna replication will take place due to the normal process the new strand of the dna will be shorter and shorter and shorter so at the end the more the replication will take place the new strands will become shorter and shorter and that is the loss of dna sequence known as aging so this is also a part it plays a huge part in aging so to prevent that to prevent the loss of information if we can stretch the parental dna strands with the help of telomerase which provides this template in the future uh, replication cycles even though uh, the strands the new strands get shorter but still it can be translate it can be replicated to the full stretch of the actual sequence that is present there and that is required to be replicated that is the idea behind telomere replication because you know we are increasing the end for a long stretch so now every single time even though there will be shortening because there is no cure to that we can't cure it but on the other hand we can extend the parental strand that's what we've done that's what telomerase is helping a eukaryotic cell to do so that every time all the informations are lost but still the chromosome and the actual information with all the necessary gene sequences are preserved that can be used to transcribe and translate into proteins so that is known as in the replication problem and the role of telomerase in helping uh, to solve the end replication problem so that is the end of dna replication in eukaryotes this is not a problem for a prokaryotes or any other organism who have a circular dna because there is no issue with that but for a linear dna this is the only way to go i hope you understand this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that 
थैंक यू